come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. That's right, Astro Punk is back. Another vlog, we're on the road to, of all places, Geelong. I know, right? Geelong. Why would anyone want to go there? Horrible place, so I'm told. Anyway, that's where we're going, and we're going to the Astronomical Society of Geelong to listen to a talk about going back to the moon. It's going to be an interesting one. It was a long trip to, from Geelong, oh, to Geelong. It was a long trip to Geelong from Cockatoo. But I have arrived, Anical Society of Geelong, going to be listening to Stephen Slater give a talk about humanity's first time around, our, around the moon and down next. So uh, I'm going to head inside and have a listen to this talk for a presentation. And I'll be back afterwards. Oh, and I'm being told there is the moon. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit, shall we? There we go. Beautiful. I'll be back shortly. So I wonder you, you look, you look fine, that's right. Now, I've been told you look like Jack Black, and I do agree. I don't agree with that. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. We that. No, no we're not cutting that. No, we're taking that as a compliment. I'm here with Stephen, Stephen like Slater, director, producer, um, all uh, of the above. I, I, I don't know, jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, master, master of none. Yeah. Um, yeah. Filmmaker, I don't know. Filmmaker extraordinaire. Nerd, yeah. Man in dark room. The man, in cho the man who made Apollo 11 and the other one was Apollo 8, was it? I, I, I was part, I'm part of the um, producing production team for team. Apollo um, 11 and um, I've worked on as a consultant and as a producer in various roles on lots of different space documentaries. I directed a, a BBC film called Destination Titan, which is about the Huygens space. Program. Now I haven't seen that, but I'm going to try and find it and watch it. Well, um, I, I reckon it'd be on Amazon it's Prime not, if I, it's on somewhere. It's not one of the Oscars, little... but you know, it's, I think yeah. it's a pretty, you know, I'm pretty pleased. It's quite a long time ago, but uh, I, I think I was about 10 when they made that. I'm, I'm going to have to watch it. You're about 10, so that means you're 20 now. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. Um, I came down to listen to your talk tonight. It was wonderful. Uh, a Thank really you. good talk. I just wanted to point out something I found very interesting. I didn't ask you about it when you were mm. doing the talk because I wanted to ask you mm. now on camera. Yeah. But when you're talking about um, the camera or the telescope at Mount Stromlo that took the photo of, was it um, Sputnik yeah. going over? That's right, yeah. I reckon that was the Great Melbourne Telescope because it went up to Mount Stromlo in the late 40s. And it was mid fifties when it was set up as the telescope imaging telescope up at Mount Stromlo. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so what's actually happening is there's an archive project with Brad Tucker, yeah. Dr. Brad Tucker, okay. who's did, and they're digitising all of these um, photographic plates or scanning them or I don't know quite how it works, but I, I, I saw them the other week and yep. and um, rumor I say rumor has it or hopefully I think we, we know that there is a photograph of of Sputnik there. It's just a case of when we get to that, I say when we, I reckon when Brad be, gets to the moment of when that, that's digital. I reckon it'll be, <laughs> Rod, Rod wants to join in. Um, I reckon it'll be, it'd be, I'd be interested to find out if it was that that particular telescope that took it, because mm -hmm. to me, based on what I know of what was up there at that time, it seems like that would be that telescope, which would be a really cool link. Um, back to obviously back to Australia again or back to Melbourne with the GMT and its history and everything that it's done from a research point of view. So um, the Melbourne link to the to the to that image then possibly. Yeah, the Melbourne link to that, which I think oh. would be really cool for Melbourne Observatory being involved without being involved. Um, what I can say is I can't guarantee that they're never gonna find it. No, I just I, I understand that it exists and I, I thought it was an interesting little anecdote. Yeah, yeah it was it very interesting. Well, you're not, you haven't heard this isn't an exclusive in that we no. we've definitely found it, but no. Yeah. No, it would be an exclusive if you had, but you haven't, but that's all right. But look, I just wanted to thank you for an awesome talk. I've come two and a half hours to come and listen to your talk tonight. I've... God, poor you. I mean, no, I, don't. I love driving, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you for an awesome talk. Uh, and I'm going to go and watch Titan 
now. I'm going to go and find it and watch it. And I'm going to, uh, I was speaking to somebody the other day and they said your IMD, IMDB database is very long. So I'm going to trawl through it and find all the cool astronomy stuff you've done and watch them all. Well, I think astronomy, yeah. Is it astronomy? Space. I, I, don't, feel space. Like, I don't feel like I'm an astronomy expert, but you know. He says good, wearing an Apollo t-shirt. Yeah, there's been, well, yeah, there's been some good <laughs> stuff I've worked up. There's probably some stuff there where I've, I've probably like, I'm not as proud of that, but you know, we, um, uh, Apollo Eleven certainly is 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 a good one. That one um, I've seen, and that one I really liked, and it was it was good to see that behind the scenes sort of but, footage, but, and same with Apollo Eight as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, but it's it, you know it, it's it's a great. These things are huge team efforts, so you 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 know it's um, yes. Got to remember yes. it's the same with astronomy, it's the same with going to the moon. It's like yeah, it's it's a it's, a, it's a collaborative effort. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it takes a village to to raise a child or to get man to the moon or to produce a really good documentary. So you've got two hours to go back tonight. No, tonight I'm actually heading off to Coburg from here, so it won't take me two hours, so it'll take me about an hour and a half. But yeah, yeah, I don't mind driving. It doesn't bother me, especially if it's got to do with science or astronomy, I'll happily drive there. But um, yeah, thank you. Thanks, awesome. thanks for coming. No worries, not a problem. And with that, I'm back. Long drive, took a while, but it was worth it. It was well worth going all the way down to the Astronomical Society of Geelong. Cool little club down there. Um, it was great to listen to Stephen's talk on the Apollo missions. Uh, and see all that unseen footage it was very very cool um, but I'm gonna go go inside and go to sleep uh, so I'll leave it with you don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget the merch store astropunk.store see you in the next vlog